Hi everyone, my name is Tia and <laughs> I've been feeling quite overwhelmed lately, as is life. I usually clean up my background before I talk to you, so this is a sign to never compare yourself to anyone on social media. I thought instead we could do it together. I feel like when my physical space is messy, my mental space is messy, so we're gonna combat that today by cleaning my room, refreshing my room. First things first, my bed is not made. I try and do the thing. Making your bed every day is actually really good for your mental health because they say that if you don't get anything accomplished this day, <laughs> At least you made your bed. And you know what? It actually helps. The effect of accomplishing something is supposed to kind of wheelbarrow you into the next task. You're like, oh, I already made my bed. I might as well wash my face. That's nice. I'm a classic white bedding gal. I feel like that's my style. Bing, bing, boom, baby. That took literally 40 seconds. As I have not shut up about, I feel like this overwhelmingly crowded bookshelf does cause me a teensy weensy amount of anxiety because of how full it is. So this is what we're gonna mitigate. First, I'm gonna pick my pants up off the floor. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna take all my dirty laundry, put these in my laundry mat, my laundry mat, my laundry hamper. I do not own my own laundry mat, unfortunately. And then riddle me this. I don't know why I use this dresser as just like a, let me just throw this and deal with it later. I don't think I need to return this, so I'm just gonna call it and throw it all away. Already much more clutter-free. There's still books laying around everywhere, still a hodgepodge of things. These were my late grandfather's. I think they're like supposed to be salt and pepper shakers. I don't even know if he painted these himself or if he thrifted these, but I've had them in my room for years now. They make me very happy, even though I don't really love roosters, but they were my yeah yes, so I keep them there. Now, taking my childhood books off this rack because, hear me out, this bookshelf gives me so much joy every time I look at it because I love a lot of these contemporary romances. This shelf, although I like it, it is a lot of books I haven't read or I haven't read in a really long time. Just childhood books that I have, but I don't really have storage for. But before I get to all these books, we're gonna replace my desk. <laughs> I'm so excited. I've had this desk since I was a freshman in high school. 25 year old woman now. When I sit at my desk, I sit like this. <laughs> I wish this was an exaggeration, but sadly when I film myself and I look back at the footage, I'm like, oh my gosh, my posture is so messed up. I look like a little shrimp. I'm getting all the clutter off my desk. We're gonna wipe her down because I'm giving this desk to my dad. Goodbye desk. I have not seen this part of my wall in like eight years. Naked now. So now the exciting part, we have to build our desk. I'm usually the pointer in the relationship. Mickey says that she's the doer, I'm the pointer. But alas, she is not here, so I unfortunately have to be the doer. <sighs> I can do it. Let me take a second to thank today's sponsor, FlexiSpot, the furniture company that's gonna de-shrimpify my back. <laughs> Like I mentioned, I am not the typical furniture building type of gal. Need help? No, I don't think so. Thank you. Even in a dress, this literally took me under 30 minutes to do on my own. Is that it? Literally? Is that it? Oh my god. I am indeed a doer and a pointer. Pointing at myself. FlexiSpot so kindly sent me their EG8 standing desk with the glass tabletop. <gasps> it's so cute! It is. Thanks, Dad! <laughs> Ooh, that's so buttery smooth. It goes from 28 inches all the way up to 48 inches in height. I'm 5'6", and I feel like it goes so much lower and so much higher than I personally needed to, so there's a great range of motion there. It also has a lock feature, so I don't accidentally bonk it with my knee or my elbow. The EG8 desk holds 110 pounds. I didn't weigh these books, but honestly, I could have put way more on the desk, and it had really smooth movement, no issues at all. It has USB-A and C ports, so I can charge all my thingamabobs at my desk while I work and I said this before I love when a company can back up the quality of their products with a long warranty a flexi spot offers a five-year warranty on their standing desk frames and their motors because Amazon is hosting their prime day flexi spot is holding a sale so I will have a link in the description if you guys want to check out this desk for yourselves and I just checked out all the trash from my door uh because my dad does that when we have Christmas trees he just checks that thing out the window <laughs> I started so late in the evening that the sun is now setting, but <laughs> now that the desk is all set up, I want to decorate it, but before I can do that, this shelf has got to go. We're going to put new books in there. We're going to refresh it. I need this to be cleared out. We're putting this in here, and then we're going to decorate this. It's going to look so good. This is quite a sturdy box I got from like a Chinese supermarket or something. I think I can fit everything in here, actually. This one, 
And we've got this box. We can work with that. All right, the sun is going down. My energy is going down. I will see you tomorrow. Good morning. The bed, made. Laundry, going. Coffee, ingesting. I am setting myself up for success today. Since the last time we spoke, I have lovingly banished my childhood books to the back of my closet just because I don't have any space. Now we are starting fresh with this spine bookshelf. Secondly, last night I crocheted myself with a little coaster for my coffee so I don't spill it. So this will be the first addition to my beautiful new desk. Ah! <laughs> today is gonna be a doozy. We need to set the tone first with the spine bookshelf. I decided not to think about it so you and I could brainstorm together today. I also didn't want to think yesterday. So, oh, look how messy it looks. <sighs> this is just so much going on. A lot of this is contemporary general fiction. I think I'm gonna scooch this to my spine shelf, possibly my nonfiction, and then we'll go from there. Ugh. <laughs> This is so daunting. I also think we're gonna stick mysteries on there as well because wowza, there's a lot. Let's start with the hardbacks. One of my family friends just gave me this book because I absolutely love baseball and I'm really excited to read it. I think this is such a thoughtful gift. I think a big thing is too, there's a lot going on at the top of the shelf, which is what I wanted to avoid in the first place. So the fact that it inevitably got this messy is not what I wanted. Big stack of legendary books. We're gonna stick at the bottom. One, my microphone died. Two, it was already getting so toasty. It's like barely 8 a.m. I thrifted this. I've never worked at Papa Kona's restaurant, unfortunately. I know I could stick like different books in that shelf actually, since that's romance. However, I'm too lazy. This is already so much change. We're just gonna go with what we have and I can always change it again later. This is an ARC I got last year and my freaking library gave it to me for free for joining their summer reading program. Insane selection. And this is your sign if you don't use a library option or you do use a library and you just didn't know about it. A lot of libraries do summer reading programs and they have cute little prizes, books they want to get rid of, for example. Some of them have tote bags. Libraries are fantastic. Definitely support and utilize them. It's hardback central over here. So I think we'll stick these big paperbacks down there. Let's do mysteries. I'm putting a lot of weight on this decision because I'm gonna see these books really often. I'm gonna put lip fic there, general fiction. We're gonna ex nay nonfiction. I think I just like the colors of these more, so I'm gonna put. I really like how that looks actually. I like the colors a lot. I have a lot of Riverhead arcs that either mean a lot to me or like books I'm really excited about. So I think they deserve the top shelf. They really do. What are we thinking? I feel like it brings so much more life, so much more color into it. This is so much more my taste. Oh, I'm so happy. This is great. <laughs> Unfortunately, I feel like we are back to square one. We've done this video before. I need to somehow reconcile this mess. So many things on the top of this. I just want to get rid of that. Front and center, baby. <laughs> Since I'm putting Haikyuu there, that's something I absolutely adore and love and cherish. So I'm like, what do I feel the same about? You already know what I'm gonna say, what I wanna put right in this spot. How about that? <laughs> that looks odd, huh? Mm. Okay, POV. You're me and this is what you see and you're not really loving it. But you could tell that this is now way too many books. Okay, evidently it's been like an hour and a half and I have yet to really get anywhere. It does feel nice that I don't have to stuff the books. That seems like a lot, huh? Yeah, I don't really wanna do that. How do I get rid of this little space so we can move forth with this video? Okay. Wait, what about this? Wait, I really think I like it. Okay, third outfit change of the day. These pants are from Costco. They are my like confidence pants. Like I wanna feel good right now, so I put these on. Recharging with a second cup. Don't know if this is a great idea. However, I have a burst of newfound energy. I think this could be a little less crowded and I think this is kind of odd, but the whole point of this was so that everything was less crowded and I feel like I definitely succeeded. Do you agree? 
Not only do we clean this bad boy up, I think it looks so much better than when the mysteries were here. Now we have this beautiful, beautiful spine shelf that really resonates with my reading taste right now. I feel like these are books that very much spark joy for me that I really like to see on my shelf. I think that's important. Putting my current reads away. I'm filming an Allie Hazelwood vlog, which should be out next week. And now the most exciting part. The problem has always been that this wall has been incredibly bare basically the whole time that I've been here. Even when I lived here when I was in high school, I never decorated. <laughs> I really want to decorate the wall so that not only does it look nice when I'm standing, but also when I'm sitting. The first step to that, let's set up the desk as to what it would actually look like. My hydro flask and I are attached to the hip. My laptop, I do editing, I do internship work. I do literally everything and anything on this laptop. Love her. So I've never had a desk in my whole life with a drawer in it. <laughs> so now I'm like, oh my God, how many secrets can I put in this desk? I've got Sharpies, annotation pens in this cute little pouch I got from Daiso. It says canoe new. <laughs> The first thing in the drawer, my first drawer ever. It looks like I dealt a deck of cards or something on my desk. They've literally just been in two big piles. And now look at that. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be very helpful. So here's what we're doing. I have a bunch of art-ish things that I'm really hoping to display. I also have embroidery options of things that I just haven't been displaying lately. Wait, this one, guys, this one has glitter on it. Maybe I will do this one. If you get it, you get it. <laughs> I have so many Oikawa prints. A lot of the art I have is very anime coded because I mean, I only got into being interested in creativity and art in the pandemic when I was hyper fixated on anime, but a lot of them are not. These are again, Tiff Blot. I love her. There is a Lost Street Cat print that I left in my girlfriend's apartment that I would love to have here, but alas, I don't have it. This is a poem by Bo Taplin that my girlfriend just literally wrote down on a piece of paper for me in college. Um, safe to say she was quite down bad and I still adore it. My girlfriend is quite artsy fartsy. She really does like making little crafts like this. So one of my favorite quotes ever, actually something that kickstarted my just desire to start a YouTube channel, but I've had this for years. Never give up on a dream because of the time it will take to accomplish it. The time will pass anyway. And I, ugh, how friggin' motivating is that? How do we like that? Right? It's not bad. Doesn't that suck? That was my mirror. Yes, it will bother me, but yes, we will ignore it. I already love where I put that. I'm obsessed. Okay, so when we're sitting down, I think what I wanna do, oh, I love this one. Helen Peanut, this is Mom Psycho. Her art, like the way she plays with light, like look how he is so angelically, the light is beaming on the back of him. He looks so hopeful. And then wee -o -wee -o, my brother got her to sign this at an art convention. This is Spy X Family. To mitigate me not having a frame, I'm just gonna keep it in this little plastic bad boy. I think I wanna put this somewhere right here because I think with the spine bookshelf, it'll even everything out. I'm so sad. I usually use wall putty. I just spent like 20 minutes searching my house for my wall putty. Have no idea where I put it. Possibly I threw it away because it's just simply a ball of literal gray putty. But we're gonna have to use tape. I just don't... <gasps> Oh no, this is trash. I thought it was putty. <laughs> putty is also reusable. I feel like I've had the same bowl of dirty putty for like five years at this point. Now we're just gonna try it. Oh, thank you. Coffee delivery. Ah, perfect break. This I think should go like right here. I don't wanna make my bedroom wall look too short. I don't know what I'm doing. There's a cat hair in the bag. <laughs> If anything is not straight on the wall, I'm not either. So I think we could be a little forgiving. Woohoo! One down, baby. And what I like about sticking embroidery on the wall is that it does give different kind of texture to the wall, a little bit more depth, like a tiny bit. And then, so this has putty on it. It's just a command strip. Yeah, sounds like I'm pooping. Stay on there. That's not bad, right? <laughs> Oh, you can't even see it. My fat head is blocking it. Remerge your water. I literally just ripped a piece of paper and then traced him with a Sharpie. Um, maybe right there. I don't know. This tiny print, Tiff Blot as well. Money. And then I feel like this is giving very spring on this side. This quote has been like a mantra of mine in 2024. I found it recently. This is by Marie Howe from the poem, The Landing. And I understood that if I kept it all up, 
no one would know me. A dim light far in the distance? No. To love, I had to be there. I had to be there to be loved. This just makes my heart ache so badly because I have a really bad habit of self-isolation. And I think just seeing this on my wall, thinking about the sentiment of showing up for your loved ones, for your friends is so important. This, this poem I think is probably one of my favorite poems to have this on my wall seeing every day will mean a lot to me. Okay, and then that's giving very yellow. Is that too much? Okay, how do we like that? It's a little, honestly, this is so me. I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> a lot of this art I've accumulated over the years. I feel like I'm quite purposeful in the things that I buy. So can't forget, I love Kirby. Peace restored with him. I feel pretty okay with the standing desk situation because look, like let's say I pop open Sunlight and Honesty from my favorite Eden song. Wait, I actually love this. Oh my God, I'm so happy right now. <laughs> This looks great. So now we need to talk about when we lower the desk, it looks a little off. Actually, it doesn't even look that bad. It makes the wall still look tall. Oh my gosh, should I even, do I even need to do anything? Wait, that doesn't look bad at all. How are we feeling about this? How are we feeling? Please tell and tell me. I really do feel like this is much more energizing, especially with my new spine shelf. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, let's do some final touches. And also look, I'm gonna steal my mom's tape. It's mine now. This is so touristy, but I got sent to my first corporate business trip ever in 2022. It was to New Jersey. So a few of us went to New York and it was in December. So they had the snow globe and I couldn't pass it up. We've got my stuffed totoro. Keep my peanut calendar. My sleepy Kirby there. Oh, I love how clean and sleek this looks. I feel like this is really breathing personality into the room, which I didn't have before because my walls were very bare. Oh my gosh. So now, I don't think we're doing anything crazy here. I think I just want to tidy it. One of Figaro's mice, some embroidery supplies, my nail equipment, cause I do it at home. There's like a theme. Everywhere I go, I have to collect a bunch of not in use notebooks, <laughs> but I think that one day they will be useful. I cannot in good conscience throw any of these away. By the way, this is the one and only embroidery that is not made by me in my bedroom. Princess J-Man Jasmine is literally the creator, the embroidery artist that inspired me to get into embroidery in the pandemic. I saw one of her reels and I absolutely had to learn how to do it. I think her work is stunning. I admire her so much, her craft, and I will link her Instagram below. I commissioned that from her. <laughs> Alrighty, and then the only thing I think we need to tackle next is this big space above my bed. I don't really know if I want to buy new art. That might take some time, but in terms of today, I feel like today was more than successful with setting up our new space, refreshing, hi hero. <laughs> I feel so excited about creating in this space. I feel like there's so much less clutter. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you FlexiSpot so much for sponsoring today's video. I will have a pinned comment below so you guys can save some money, shop your own FlexiSpot desk for your space and hopefully find something refreshing for yourself. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.